a quick uh, final uh, review of the guide to settings. If it's a preterm baby with RDS, frequency of 12 to 15, and the higher the frequency is tolerated, the better. Uh, we could go to 15 to 20 with the newer uh, dragger ventilator, as studied in uh, Dr. Luna's study, but with greater experience. Uh, the map should be according to the recruitment measure we discussed, and if you're using volume guarantee, you can use this as a guide. So uh, remember that the higher the frequency, you can drop the uh, volume that is used. If you're using 15 hertz, you can use as uh, low as 0.8 ml per kilo, 1.63 ml per kilo. Uh, 1.5 to 1.6 ml at 15 hertz and uh, you can use uh, 2 uh, uh, ml or 2.5 ml per kilo at the higher frequency. So normally at the 10 hertz uh, which is at standard uh, frequency we use it will be 2 ml per kilo. And the DCO2 is used as a guide and you have to uh, monitor according to the baby's response with the PCO2. Uh, there are multiple studies from Professor Luna, Dr. Van Kamp and other groups showing a beneficial result. Uh, ability to minimize exposure to high pressures by using the high frequency of 15 to 20 in the smaller babies. Remember that the lung uh, capacity is lower, the chest wall is less rigid, so the resonance frequency is uh, lower at these pressures, at these frequencies. The DCO2 is uh, useful as a trend. And in fact, uh, Dr. Manuel Luna suggests that you could use uh, watching the response of the volume, uh, tidal volume, while on volume guarantee to decide which is the optimal map. So I would refer you to the lecture which I mentioned earlier. In babies with meconium aspiration syndrome as well as in air leak or cystic PAE, the pressure uh, you have according to whether there is lung recruitment indicated or not. Of course, if there is cystic PAE, you would not recruit. Uh, you have to do the echo to accept uh, the higher FAO2 if there is PPHN. The frequency would be 8 to 12 hertz and the IE time in these babies would be 1 is to 2. So keep the map as low as possible. Only in meconium aspiration, you would consider recruitment in air leak or cystic PAE. You wouldn't recruit the lung. And in BPD, as well as in PAE and CDH, uh, you would use IE ratio 1 is to 2. Use as low a map as possible. Accept permissive hypercapnia with a lower frequency. And these babies are not for lung recruitment. So these are just a simple guide. Nasal high frequency is a relatively new modality. And few studies are showing improved outcome. Uh, like successful extubation or avoiding intubation, but we need further experience and data, and I will not discuss more on this. To summarize, uh, what matters more than the machine or mode is how the physician manages. So ventilation is an art as well as a science, while as you become more experienced, when you start looking at the overall pathophysiology, the art part is already built into you. So you just look at the disease process and agree on what the right approach should be. So a clear understanding of the basic concept a willingness to continuously review the baby's condition and modify the approach are key to a successful management and close monitoring, adequate training of the nursing staff, things like fluid management, infection control, these are key as well. So uh, I hope uh, this uh, series has been useful. Thank you. We will discuss further later on.